Hold the board. Everyone. Hello, Dan. Which of our friends are we going to see? Which of our friends do you think it will be? Climb aboard and travel with me. All aboard the story train. All aboard the story train. Twinkle, have you spotted someone? I can't see who it is. Can you? Look, that's a tree. The tree is shaking. Look, what's making it shake? I can hear tinging. Must be precious. It is precious. She's jumping up and down. Hey, what's that? There in the tree. A camera. Oh, that's Tallulah's camera. But where is she? Right, Precious has Tallulah's camera. Hmm, I wonder why. Let's go and find out. Hello, Driver Dan. Hello, Twinkle. Look what I found. Go on, look. All right, Precious. I'll have a look. I found Tallulah's camera up that tree with two very strange photos on it. Hmm, yes, they are strange, aren't they? Huh. I can't even make out what they're photos of. It's a mystery. <laughs> I love solving mysteries. In fact, it seems there are a few mysteries to solve here, Precious. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what the strange photos are of, who took them, why the camera was in the tree and... The biggest mystery of all, where is Tallulah? I'll have another look for her. Tallulah! Tallulah! You have a look. What do you think the first photo might be? It's all fuzzy. It's blue and round. <gasps> Water's blue. Maybe it's somewhere with water. Somewhere with water. That is a great idea. Thank you. And it will really help Precious. I can't find Tallulah Driver Dan, but I have an idea. Let's work out where the first photo is. And that is where we might find Tallulah. Maybe the photo is of a place, not a thing. What do you think, Precious? Where is there a round blue place? Hmm, that's it. It's the water hole. The blue colour is water and the circle is the edge of it. <laughs> well done. And well done to you too. Shall we go and see if Tallulah is at the water hole? Yes, on the story train. Let's go. Water hole, please, Twinkle. All aboard. All aboard the story train. Aha, I think Twinkle has found the water hole already. Is Tallulah there, Twinkle? <laughs> you were right, Precious. Tallulah is at the water hole. And the Vroom's carriage is there too. Up a tree? I thought I left it here when I was playing with the vrooms this morning. Oh, Tallulah, where are the vrooms? I don't know. First my camera went missing and then the vrooms went missing. What a strange day. Hi, Driver Dan. Hooray! My camera. Thank you. Hi, Tallulah. Yes, one of the photos on your camera looked like the waterhole, so that led us here to find you. Look. Look at the other one too. How did you take them? They're all blurry and fuzzy. Very strange. I don't know, Precious. I didn't take these photos. Ooh, another mystery. How exciting. Who took the photos? Let's look for more clues. I can only see lots of different coloured shapes. It's really hard to tell what they are. Look. Cloud! It's a photo of a cloud! Oh, Twinkle! You're right! The camera must have been looking down on the cloud 
from high up, like you are. Well done, Twinkle. That's really helpful. Now we know that the photo was taken in the sky, like a bird's eye view. Aha! The shiny thing is a bum pat. <laughs> I think I know who took the photos. There, that looks like a... <gasps> a whirly twirler! It's, it's the, the brooms. brooms. The brooms took the photos. <laughs> there you are, brooms. Where have you been? <laughs> You found my camera at the waterhole and came to find me to give it back. And then you dropped it and couldn't find it again. Oh dear. So that's when you accidentally took the photos, just as you dropped the camera. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's why the photos look all blurred and fuzzy. Yes, mystery solved. Hooray! Oh, thank you, Precious. Thank you, Driver Dan. And thank you, Vrooms. Great job, everyone. You all worked really hard to use the clues and solve the mysteries. It's time for Story Corner. All aboard, everyone. Why? Are you ready, too? Then let's go. All aboard the story train. It's time for a story. Maybe a mystery story, or one about strange photos. Maybe a story about looking for clues. Woohoo! Woohoo! Who's ready for a story then? Yes! I was thinking maybe... Aha! I know just the book. Is everyone settled down and ready to listen? All ready, Dan. Yay! <laughs> and all of you, sitting down comfy and ready to listen. Ready, Dan. This story is called Learning to Fly. Vivian French wrote it and Amy Timms did the pictures. The parrots were in a great flutter. All their chicks were learning to fly. They had all jumped off of the branch of the tree and launched themselves into the sky. A lot of the chicks were soaring and whirling and twirling around. But one little chick was missing. Perhaps he was down on the ground. Yes, Vrooms, whirling and twirling just like you. Listen, said Blue Parrot. I hear him, though it doesn't sound quite like a squawk. But what did they see when they looked round the tree? A monkey troop out for a walk. Pink Parrot said, Look, in the river. Those ripples, I'm sure that that's him. But when they flew down to the rushes to see, the hippos were having a swim. <laughs> Look, said Green Parrot, I see him. I see the top of his head. But when they went down to look by the lake, they found a flamingo instead. <laughs> Red Parrot said, Under those bushes, he's sheltering there from the heat. But all that they found when they looked all around was an elephant stamping his feet. Oh no, said Grey Parrot, he's hiding down where the big animals prowl. But when they all shouted, Come back, it's not safe, a tiger jumped out with a growl. Ooh. They searched and searched for the chick until the sun sank in the west. But when they went sadly to roost on their branch, they found him asleep in the nest. Well, what a good story. And a fun, happy ending, too. The little chick was fast asleep in the nest all along. And now it's your turn. Which bit did you like best? Come on, it's time to show me the story. I'm looking for the little chick. Where could he be? Look at me, I'm being a monkey. So am I. Mmm, lovely bananas. Now, let's be elephants. Swing your trunk. Just like me. I'm a tiger. Roar! I'm a fluttering parrot. Flutter, flutter, flutter. I'm flying around. Oh, we found little parrot. He's fast asleep. Ah, uh, night, night. Thanks, everyone. You were great at showing me the story. 
What an adventure those parrots had looking for the little chick. Just like solving our mystery. Uh-oh, another mystery. Where did the vrooms go? Aha! You're pretending to be asleep in your nest, just like the chick. <laughs> oh, vrooms. All aboard! All aboard the story train! Bye everyone, it's time to go, but let's come back soon because we all love stories! Bye Dovertown, bye! I like stories about pirates. I like circus stories. My favourite story is about food. Lots of food! <laughs>